All right, we are back. And now we are in Shadowfen. This was the area that I was actually thinking of before. This is where I was doing some pickpocketing last time I took on one of these pickpocket quests. You travel right straight to the Stormhold Way Shrine, and it's right here where the drop off spots are for your crafting writs. I also found it to be a good spot where I could viciously murder and pickpocket people without worrying too horribly much about the guards, although with this one, because there's two people right here and there's a third one sleeping there, but they don't, I don't think they really count because they're sleeping. But I'm pretty sure if he catches me, she magically knows, and if I kill this guy, she sees me do it. But hey, I have a bounty already, so... And I need to get them out of my way. She saw me do it, which unfortunately gave me a very, very big bounty. Now it's up over a thousand. But I did need to get her out of my way so that I can work on pickpocketing. It's kind of funny that she actually ran away. Pocket this here sleeping person. Oh, apparently they caught me. Pretty impressive that you can catch me while you're sleeping, so preciously murder her. It started out at 60%, which is not the greatest. I really wish they would change that so you don't unsheathe your weapon when you kill people. I wonder if that trick is that we're gonna come back over here. Oh, yes, and people with these green names you cannot pickpocket or kill. But while I'm here, I can go ahead and drop off these, get these Each items. Each of us has a role. You out. create, I deliver. Out of my inventory. that it's a really crappy clip and I don't don't even know how the soul gems are gonna exactly work mm -hmm. it does now actually say just used to capture souls it used to tell you used to capture souls between this and this level yeah see this one says oh it doesn't tell you you can Recharge your weapons up to level 39 and revive up to level 39 players. Yeah, here we go. These greater soul gems say used to capture level 40 to 49 souls. Probably because I had these prior to one Tamriel and it, it didn't just take that level restriction off. Or no, grand soul gems is the highest this game has, so that's probably why it doesn't have a level restriction. So I'm not really sure if getting Grand Soul Gems is because of my level or if they are like only using Grand Soul Gems now because they removed the levels from NPCs because of one time real. A good day's work is sweet as sugar. But Which, laziness is like the I, I like the whole thing they did with one Tamriel so that everyone is able to play together regardless of their alliance. You know, getting rid of that alliance restriction. Oh, good alchemist survey. I'm gonna have to 
do that. Because you do, that will stay in your inventory until you go to that area. I actually installed a mod that will put markers on my maps, as you can see here. The Alchemist survey. I used to use my tablet. I have a website, well, I think a couple of websites bookmarked that show you the location that will show you the map like this and have an X drawn on there to help you be able to navigate there more easily. I think that's probably from the mod too. Because you can... I originally did try using the map be like, okay. You see where it is on here and you have to open up your map and look all around and try to judge by the land characteristics, but that got old relatively fast and some of them are more difficult to try to pinpoint the location so this is the major downside to doing things like this it seems like that lady. Oh, nice. Of course she would come back right here and now. It's just like, no matter what I do, One of them is going to see me. And I don't remember exactly how I managed to get rid of them the first time around. Yeah, see that it is a little wonky when it comes to how that worked out. Oh, did she? I guess she didn't see me that Yet time. another fobbing lout. Stealing right out in the open. Yeah, she saw me steal, but she didn't see me murder the shit out of him, apparently. Which is nice. Okay, turn back around. See if I can pickpocket you. If, if not, I will kill the crap out of you. Because you are just in the way, lady. Yeah, quit being suspicious. There ain't nobody here. Okay, you're gonna stick to being suspicious. You're just gonna die. I ain't got time for this. Oh good, I won't be attacked by law. It's always nice. Yeah, see that time was 60%. It worked just fine. It's probably random number generators that determine whether or not you're going to succeed. The nice thing about sleeping people is even though they catch you, you're not gonna have to deal with them trying to kill you or trying to call the guard on you. Oops, but you will still get your bounty increased. And have to deal with all of that. Oh, this is gonna take quite a while. Only have managed to pickpocket once. What the hell sees me now? Really? I got detected because another player wandered by? That does not at all seem. Right? Because players knowing you're there means absolutely nothing, so that was really, really strange. That, that, as soon as that guy 
ran up. I was suddenly detected. But yeah, the pickpocketing people for Thieves Guild dailies is probably the one that's the most tedious because it's like just so random seems to be really random if you're going to be successful unless those percentages are really quite high which I would have to assume that your ledger main level and skills you have should play a role in that I have your sneak costs reduced yeah increase your chance of successfully pickpocketing. I have one point in there. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that since I have the level for it. Next rank is at level 12, but at least that's 20% increase to my chances there. So if you're gonna do a lot of Thieves Guild quests and you want to do the dailies for pickpocketing, you probably want to put some points in that. The locksmith to increase my chance of forcing locks by 25%. I put those two points in there earlier today when I was doing the quest for the new life event because one of the achievements is really kind of, well actually two of the achievements are really annoying but you have here this one during the trial of five Claude and Reaper's Marge unlock all chests in 35 seconds or less. I'm not the greatest at the lock picking. I mean, sometimes I have would have trouble doing it within the time limit for just opening the chest. Well, not for this one. I didn't usually run out of time for unlocking the chest, but the first time I did that quest for the new life event on the first day of it I had to make like three attempts to get all three picked within the time limit that was set for the quest and I was just like yeah I've had trouble doing it within the time limit just for the quest itself Because I'm not really sure what makes them decide, oh, I'm going to attack you, or I'm just gonna say snarky, nasty things about the fact that I caught you. Because, like, with that guy in particular, he attacks you with his fist, so it's like, yeah. You really think you stand any sort of chance? But yeah, see, she just points at you and be like, "Oh, yeah, I caught you." With that guy, for whatever strange reason, it's like, yeah, I'm. Yeah, see, she has a meek lever, so it's like she'd be able to defend herself a little bit better than that guy. This is just all you want. I'll just murder you viciously. Because at the very least, you know, it's giving me good cell stuff. Now, that like, gave me one of each. So, like, I, I really think that it's like completely random as to what item you're going to get from them. If I when lose you're any more, I'll be out on the street. Quest. And 
She's now empty, so she must die. Having a bad day. She keeps getting murdered. Gets all her stuff stolen and then murdered viciously. And now the wait is on again. For one of them to respawn Should be the Argonian first, since he was the first one I killed. That is also how he, a good way to do it for this area if you're trying to steal from these three, since you're less likely to be caught by the guards right here, because you don't have a guard just kind of standing there hanging around. I think there is one over. Yeah, see, there's one over here. Because I was afraid when I ported over here, I was afraid that there was going to be a guard standing right next to the way shrine to catch me. So I kind of snuck off in this direction and went around behind this tree making a big loop because there's a guard standing there. Yeah, and in, in general, when I'm stealing things, I don't usually go for stealing food items. You can usually find enough of that in the world. Just check all the boxes around, especially if you're in a delve or dungeon of any kind. The crates and barrels and things in there usually tend to have quite a good amount of food items if you go around checking them and not just ignore them trying to rush through the dungeon. Or you can always go to NPCs like the chef characters and actually buy them. Come on, respawn. That's also the annoying thing, you're waiting for respawns. Like, it always takes forever when you're specifically waiting on it. Which is definitely the case for the New Life event. There's one quest where you have to kill wolf wolves to get meat and wasps get a honeycomb, but because absolutely everybody is trying to do that at the same time, these spawns are absolutely horrendous. So you're just wandering around this area like, okay, am I even in the right spot for where one or the other is actually going to spawn because they're being killed off so fast? Like, the first time I did it, on day one, I had, like, pretty much no problems finding the wolves to get meat. But I could not find a wasp to save my life. Wow. 70%, but yet she still caught me. I ain't here. Go back, go back to your business. Well, you're not gonna stop being suspicious, you're just gonna die. That is just how that works out for you. If you just stop catching me, you might live a little bit longer. I'm still gonna kill you, because I need you out of my way. 
Well, halfway done with this part. detected there. Yeah, I do find that this lady usually tends to be the best person for pickpocketing here because no matter what she's not going to attack you because she's sleeping she doesn't wake up for any reason. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that was her talking. She's always missing things, yeah, because I keep stealing the hell out of them. I am getting a little tired of this damn Argonian catching me. It's the last time I did this one, I don't think I had anywhere near as much problem with him catching me and oddly enough wanting to fight about it. I wonder what exactly determines if they're going to attack you or they're just gonna point at you and say, hey, this person over here, they're pickpocketing. Well, yeah, as you can see, you can end up with quite a bounty from doing these quests, especially if you're also using your Dark Brotherhood abilities to viciously murder them. Because if you get caught murdering it, it's definitely a pricey endeavor. We are at 8 of 10 or 2 of 3, so getting close to getting this part done, so I think I will <clears throat> still try to pickpocket the Argonian once he respawns. And probably still end up with him catching me and wanting to fight. Couldn't have been nice and have it be an entertainment good. Inventory full. I've stolen too much shit. Let's see. I already got the achievement for throwing these mud balls at the ambassador, so it's not really worth a damn thing to me. Because I am still, well, again, full up, I think what I what I'm gonna have to do is get myself to an outlaw refuge and just sell off a lot of that stuff. I don't think selling it off will 
before you finish affects it at all. But I have a huge bounty, so this will take some doing. There should. Yeah, there is actually one here. Try to wander my way over there, but I will pick you guys back up when we get to East March to steal the next set of goods.